Well, good evening, everyone. Dr. Jacqueline King here, CEO and founder of Black Women Empowered. And I know many of you signed up to, to, to actually, it's not about me, it's Dr. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> they signed up to see your handsome face. <laughs> well, here it is. There it is. Take and, it in. Uh, <laughs> you know I'm going to make you laugh. Oh, I'm happy to laugh. <laughs> Laughter so, is good for you. It absolutely is. So tonight we are here and we are here on behalf of Hartwell University where um, Dr. Um, Dr. Matthew, Dr. Matthew Flippin is our president and we have a great board. So we're excited about um, the school and, and all that we have done and all that we will do. We're just excited. So, Dr. Hill, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, depending on where you are in the country. Uh, my name is Dr. Donitris Hill. Uh, I am a 20 plus year educator. Uh, I've served in every capacity in schools as, as far as, you know, from a classroom teacher, uh, a school bus driver. Wow. Um, yeah, I've done it all in schools. Uh, high school principal, assistant principal. Uh, currently now I'm working as a community superintendent uh, where I oversee 13 schools, uh, which has about a population of about 800 staff members and probably about 7,000 students. Um, I have written a couple of books, Today's Prince, Tomorrow's King, as well as Give Me a Year and uh, yeah, that's 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 me professionally. <laughs> that's awesome. So let's start. First of all, you've been uh, in education for how long? Twenty three years. This is this is the start of my twenty third year. Wow. Yeah. Talk talk a little bit about how it's been um, being in education because I mean it's always changing. So how's it been for you to be uh, a teacher? or in education for that many years? So, you know, the, you know I've, I've had the opportunity to see the many faces of education, uh, watching us go from very little accountability where, you know, it was more so just teachers taught what they felt was important. They taught the curriculum as it was written, but, you know, there was really not a lot of checks and balances to watching the, uh, the surgeons of formalized testing, you know, as far as, uh, state-based mandates, no child left behind, uh, and watching how accountability stepped in on the scene, you know, in the mid 2000s, early to mid 2000s, to now everything really is driven by data, driven by assessments, driven by state mandates. Uh, watching the evolution in the classroom, where we have moved more from the chalkboard to now the, the whiteboard, or excuse me, the chalkboard to the whiteboard, and now the smartboard. And now, you know, you can get a complete education using a cell phone. So, you know, just watch it all change. You have to be open, though. You have to be open to grow, open to transition, open to, you have to be flexible and malleable so that you can go with the times. You know, if you kind of dig your heels in and say, this is how we've always done it, it's going to leave you behind. Education is one of these machines that really is continually to involve. And with that, practices have to evolve and mindsets have to evolve and mindsets have to open up. We have to understand that today's learner is not the learner of yesterday. Absolutely. I mean, the pandemic showed us that, that we were really not prepared for a digital age. But I will say that many schools and school districts and teachers, they started to retool themselves and re-equip themselves and re-image themselves so that they could, you know, meet the needs of the, the, the learner of today. I almost was going to say traditional learner, but really this is very untraditional education that we're in right mm -hmm. now, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> well, um, in case you're just tuning in, um, I am here with Dr. Denitris Hill. He is the chairman of the board for Hartwell University. I am on the board of regents and we are committed to the success of Hartwell. You, you see, he's even got his shirt on. He tried to show me up. 
But, yeah, uh, we got paraphernalia and everything. It looks, it looks it was a little too hot for a sweatshirt for me. It's 87, 87 degrees here. But, yes, I understand. But I have one. We're going to get, we, we'll get Dr. Got um, Doctor. I, I keep calling him Doctor Matthew because I'm speaking it into existence. But we'll get him to get us some T-shirts. We need some summer, <laughs> some summer gear, huh? Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I but, hear that. But it's um, it's it's really for me, it's really uh, an awesome experience to be serving on the board and the commitment. So, um, being that you're the chairman of the board, I'm gonna have you talk about who we are and what we do and what our vision is. Yeah, so, you know, Hartwell University, it's, it's, in its, it's in its infancy stages, but it truly is a remarkable place to receive a bachelor's degree, especially if you're interested in service. You know, this is an organization or a university that is Christ-centered, uh, it's faith-based, but, but it is really working and it is on the scene to equip and to prepare educators so that every child in every school building can have a compassionate, competent, as well as confident teacher. Because the only major at Hartwell University is an education degree. So we've, we've, we've truly isolated the practice and made it, you know, put it in a perspective where teachers, or excuse me, potential teachers, future teachers, paraprofessionals who are in schools and want to receive their bachelor's degree because they feel they're called, they're compelled to say, I want to do more. I, I, I can do so much more. I see the needs of kids. I see the needs. I see the struggles. I see the gaps and I can feel them. I feel this in my heart that I can do this. And Hartwell University makes it easy to do that. It's, it's truly a revolutionized program. Have an amazing president, have an amazing board. Uh, who are working diligently day in and day out to prepare the next cadre of teachers so that they are equipped to go in with targeted approaches, targeted interventions, targeted first taught instruction to make sure that kids receive the best opportunity, a first class learning experience. And Hartwell University is the place that is preparing students, excuse me, preparing teachers for that. Yeah, and that's and and we want to shout out to all of our teachers because we have some amazing teachers as well. So, um, Dr. Hill, why do you think that it is so important to um, have teachers that are um, well? I, I would say Christ, Christ-like, or understand Christianity, and are able to not you know so much teach christianity but be have that sympathy empathy for the kids yeah i mean so let's just think about the, the the testimony of christ himself he came to serve he came to be a sacrifice education is a sacrificial practice so you know you're giving of yourself each and every day christ did not come with the expectation to gain he came with the the premise to give and as he gave his life as you're an educator or being an educator, you do the same each and every day. You sacrifice continually. And so to have that empathy and to have that compassion, to understand what it means to be to, 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 to take on someone else's burdens, to try to, to present yourself in the most faultless and blameless way possible so that you can provide a quality education, that's very Christ-centered. Christ had the, the men, he came with the motivation and he came with the promise to say that I will save to, or to be salvation embodied in flesh. Well, if that's not what an educator is, I don't know what, what one is because that's what we do each and every day. We give of ourselves. We give of our, we, we sacrifice our time with our families. And sometimes, you know, it is not the best thing, but we do what we have to do to make sure that we are there for our students and we're there for our families and we're there to support them. You know, I think the scripture that says that it's, it's how you treat the least and the last. You know, education is about gap filling. It's about making sure that you provide every opportunity for the next generation to experience the success that either you live or you hoped to have lived. We owe it 
to ourselves and to the next generation and to others to be a witness we owe it to them to, to sacrifice we owe it to them to provide every opportunity for them to experience success that's christ-centered or that's that's a christ-centered approach again he didn't come to gain the only thing he came to gain was souls to say that now you are safe from all that is awaiting you. Well, again, that is the premise of education. So no, well, Hartwell University is not a, uh, a proselytizing university, but we definitely do embody the precepts and principles of faith, hope, love, long suffering, all the fruits of the spirit. We embody these things because we understand what it means to reach every learner where they are. As you prepare the next round of teachers, you have to reach them where they are so that then they can cast a wider net and go after the next generation of learners. So I love that. And as a teacher, so you've been doing this for so long because honestly, um, I think that our children, especially after the pandemic, but even before the pandemic and um, and right now I'll, I'll speak to um, you know, lower income children, you know, that can't afford that, you know, expensive to go to private schools. Uh, some of them are struggling anyway. How do you feel that Hartwell, it, the teachers that come out of Hartwell are going to make a difference in the lives of them? Those Well, people? so one of the burdens of being an undergraduate student, of course, is always the cost. It's, it's a burden, you know, to figure out how am I going to fund this education? You know, the big battle right now, the conversation is, is the president going to, to cancel student loans? Is the president going to, uh, you know, take away the burden of student loans? And let me just want to say, I, I vote yes, uh, Mr. President, <laughs> take that <laughs> burden away. <laughs> uh, but, but no, so, so the, the beauty of being a heart, Hartwell graduate or, or undergraduate student that will eventually matriculate out of the university into the classroom is that you will leave with no debt. You see, and that alone <laughs> makes you a more formidable educator because you're not doing this job now. A lot of times you have teachers that enter the classroom so they can get loan forgiveness. So they don't necessarily have the right motivation to be in the classroom. They see it as a game so that they can take away debt. Well, and that's not everyone's story, but there is a, 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 a large portion of educators that think that way. At Hartwell University, it's very inexpensive. There is no financial aid. You pay as you go. But the cost to attend the university is minimal when you think about what it costs to go to a regular four-year university or two-year university. The cost is $222 a month. For you to get a quality education, a private school education centered on the practice that you want to go into, which is to be a classroom educator or a classroom practitioner. We have scholarship opportunities available. Some people are on full scholarships. Other people are on partial scholarships where, according to what I have been looking at, you are either paying $222 a month if you're a full pay student or if you have a partial scholarship, $111 a month. Think about that. $111 a month. That's a tank of gas. <laughs> and you can pay that and get a quality education aligned to your interests, aligned to your goals, so that you can go out into your community or your neighborhood or work in your school and provide the next opportunity for the next set of learners. So total, you might at the most, for a four-year degree from Hartwell University, you might pay $10,000 and some change at the most. And that's not a year. That's total. total. So again, as they say, I can't remember what movie it was, but they say, you do the math. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of universities, you pay $10,000 just for books. At Hartwell University, you don't need books. Everything is provided. Everything is included in that, in that tuition again. At the most, you might pay almost, what, $10,700 for education. You can't beat it. And again, you leave the, the university, you leave secure. There is no debt. There is no business office that's going to come back to you later 
for those of you all, you know what I'm talking about. You've graduated and then they come back and say you have a bill. Can't have a bill because you pay as you go. So again, it takes that financial strain away, takes that burden away. So when you do leave and you start teaching and you start working in the classroom, you're not concerned about, I still got to pay these student loans back. Or, you know, I got to take money out of this to pay this. Your education is already secure. You can't beat that. Okay. And so your mo- your mother is, is a student. <laughs> I'm not going to bring that up. And she's my age. And... Um, <laughs> I commend her because that's, it's, uh, to me, that's absolutely amazing. It was amazing for me too, uh, you know, because the mind, you know, it, it ain't as sharp as it used to be. It's just a little harder than it was when we were in our 20s, uh, you know, or teens or whatever. So um, how is her experience? And I know you get to talk to her. Why is she... Um, committed to going to Hartwell, what did she expect out of it? Because it is different than most universities. Do you know what her expectations are? You know, and so being the the son of a student, um, I will say that I have unique insight and unique perspective into her journey. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and I'm very proud of her. You know, uh, my mom has experienced a lot in her life. She's gone through quite a bit to get to this point and to make the decision that uh, when I presented it to her, she immediately jumped at the opportunity. Um, And I asked her why. I said, why would you even like, you know, your question to me? She said, it's an education. Too many, there were too many people before us that were, that, that, that sacrificed for us to be able to be educated, especially as African-Americans in this country. So for her, it was, it's a no brainer. Absolutely, I'm gonna take this opportunity to get an education. Um, you talked about the sharpness of mind. My, 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 my thing is I've watched her mind get sharper as she has experienced this education. And her tongue, mouth is getting sharper too. You know, I'm like, sometimes like, calm down lady. But, uh, <laughs> But no, I mean, just a joy to watch her, you know, her evolve. You know, I I remember we were just speaking about this 20 years ago. um, Text messaging just became a thing. You know, 2002 text messages used to cost 10 cents a text. (laughs) You you remember that? Yeah, I do. 10 cents a text. It was just coming on the scene. And I remember talking to my mom then saying, you know, mom, we should start texting. And she told me, she said, I'll never text. I'll just pick up the phone. And, you know, I, I look at her today and now she texts only in emojis and <laughs> it's nothing but, 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 but JPEG files. And it's just amazing. And, and, and like I say, now she walks around with two cell phones and a, a laptop and an iPad, all trying to get her education while still work her business. So, so the digital age is for everyone. So for those of you that are on this call or that are going to listen to this and you feel like I'm too old for this experience, I'm too old to get an online degree, I beg to differ. You aren't. It really is about your mindset. It is about your your determination to be the better version of yourself each and every day with every opportunity. So what she wants to do with her degree, I don't know. She changes her mind every day. She's, now she says she wants to go and get a master's degree in counseling. But these opportunities are all present because of Hartwell University. So again, it's the gift that keeps on giving. That's what education is. So where she goes with this journey, I don't know. But I definitely applaud her, salute her, and wish her the best along the way. But I will not do her homework for her. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Well, you know, I always, you know, I always like to say, you're never too old to be who God called you to be. That's right. And um, as long as you're on this side of the dirt, <laughs> that's right. There's opportunity. And to me, this opportunity is absolutely amazing for those who want to go into education. And the reason I say that 
is being um, the granddaughter of a pastor. Uh, I pretty much have been in church all my life. And I understand the power uh, of a relationship with God. Yeah. And so Hartwell is, is, is going to give the students a great foundation to be Christ-like. That's, that's how I see it. And that's what we need, Christ-like teachers who are not, you know, short with the kids, you know, having a bad day and just, you know, rude or treat any child differently than the other. I mean, to me, and I, I'm not going, I haven't gone through the class. I'm only saying what I expect is going to be like. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things, I, like I said, I do have some unique insight, um, you know, being that she is a student, you know, I, I get to hear about the assignments, I get to hear about the rigor, and I will share that this is not a pushover university either. I mean, they're doing quality work, uh, they're doing work that is pushing, you know, and, and, and stretching your mind, and, you know, critical thinking is definitely present, president, excuse me, present and evident trying to say president um but but so it really is a high quality uh university but but i will say that it's it's one where you do expect that this process will mature you you know and it will prepare you so that you can enter the classroom and have the patience and the love and the faith and the empathy that it takes to reach a learner, to reach a student, to reach a child, a child that's in distress, or to reach a child that has experienced tumultuous amounts of trauma. You know, and that's the beautiful thing again, like I said, my mom herself as a student has been that student though, who if you ever ask her, she'll tell you, I was a math illiterate when I graduated from high school, but I watched her retool herself over the years to the point where she does numbers in her head. And now, as a, as a Hartwell University student, who I think now she's a sophomore, I think she's just completed her freshman year, now she's into her sophomore year, I get to watch this new level of confidence. I don't hear any more about the math illiterate student anymore. I don't hear that verbiage anymore. What I hear now is, I'm a college sophomore. I love you it. see that? Transitional thinking. Growth and mentality, that's what education provides. And Hartwell has made it very affordable, very attainable, and very accessible. So for anyone that really is thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe this is for me. Here's your sign. It is. Because it's an opportunity for you to become, like we just said, the better version of yourself. I won't say the best version, because we're continually pressing toward the mark but it will definitely make you a better version as you continue to press and you press and you press. And this education or any education, but a Hartwell education will definitely put you in the, on the path to becoming who God has called you to become. It, it'll put you there. I love that. And, and one thing that I know that they took prayer out of schools years ago, yeah. but if you, master the art of praying and i'm assuming that if you haven't mastered it or don't know anything about it you're gonna you're gonna have it when you leave Hartwell. that's that's what i feel i don't know i'm mean, like i said i'm not i'm assuming that that's part of it but see what people don't understand is prayer is essential it's not an option right. it is a necessity and if you can if you can build that relationship with Christ, that's half the battle. Yeah, yeah. You know they say um, there are no atheists in foxholes. You know, and if you're as you're gaining an education, you recognize that you're gonna call on the Lord at some point. <laughs> you better know it. You're gonna call. I mean, you and I both have gone to the terminal degree route. Well, we've, we've gone to the, we've exhausted the education, so we say, until we decide to study something <laughs> else. 
Uh, but 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 you know that if you've been in this journey at all at any point, you've definitely reached. You've pressed up to say, "Lord, help," because again, I mean, it's it's tough. It's but it's 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 one of those necessary pains, though. You know, to tool yourself, to equip yourself, it's necessary. It's one of these things, again, like the scripture says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. And the only way you're going to get a sound mind is you have a prepared mind. And your mind has to be stretched in order for it to be prepared. And it has to be molded for it to be prepared. And that's, that's, what, we, that's what we have to push people into and you know, you hear now that it doesn't take an education. It doesn't take an education. Well, and, and for some people, it may not. But we have we have learned that once you receive a high quality education, your options are now limitless. See, a person that doesn't get an education, they may be successful, but it's limited. You can only go in certain certain arenas. Because if there's a certain job that you want or a certain career that you want, well, there are qualifications there. There are expectations for certain levels of growth and maturity. And again, an education will provide that for you. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it definitely is a good way. <laughs> Absolutely. And for those who, like you say, God has not given us the spirit of fear. And you know that this is something that you have always wanted to do. Now is the time to activate your faith yeah. and step out on faith. Um, you know, you've heard the saying, you take one step and he'll take two. Um, God is right there in the midst of everything. So if you want to get your a good quality education at a reasonable price, we recommend Heartwell. Okay, so... Dr. Hill, what's the website? I didn't have it pulled up. I got it. I got you right here. So the website, the website is www.hartwell, H-A-R-T-W-E-L-L dash education.org. So I got a cheat sheet right here. Ah, oh, good for you. I am so glad because I said I don't have it pulled up. Yeah. So go to the website. You can get more information on the school and how to apply. Um, we welcome you with open arms. Um, I, we have the most amazing uh, teachers and board members to me, and I might be a little biased, <laughs> but-, but You're that's in good company. <laughs> that's how I feel. And our president, um, Matthew, is, is one of the most kindest gentleman you will ever meet and he really loves the lord he loves people and he just i mean he's he's just an amazing man yeah and god gave him this vision and we are watching it unfold in front of our very eyes are that's we right. not that's right you know again uh president flipping matthew flipping uh he's got a good heart and he truly cares about people. Um, again, more insight, you know, my, my mom will share that. I got an email from the president, you know, and it just just that encouragement, you know, and the fact that, that they know the students by name, like you're not just a number at Hartwell. They know the students by name. We get to hear the testimonies. Um, and, you know, and to watch Matthew and his team go through all of the processes to make sure that Hartwell is a, is a, is a, is a fortified university that has all of the, the necessary pieces in place um, to, to ensure longevity and sustainability and to know that that degree, when you get it, it actually means something. That I'm, to watch that process and to be a part of it is rewarding, encouraging, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of this journey. And I, I, I know I share the sentiment of all the Board of Regents uh, that we are also enjoying watching this process unfold. We are. Well, I wanna thank you, Dr. Hill, for coming on. And uh, we will be um, re-airing this broadcast and uh, you'll actually be able to find it on YouTube and Twitter and LinkedIn right now, but we'll be re-airing it. 
on for our Facebook followers. And um, so we encourage you to take a look because this this may be the blessing that you have been waiting for and praying for uh, to 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 uh, have an affordable education, a good quality uh, and affordable education. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't think of any place better than Hartwell University. That's right. Thank you, Dr. Hill. No and problem. Thank we'll you be for back, We'll be back doing some other things. We. You know, we're getting ready to get hot. We're getting ready to put Hartwell on the map all over the world. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And um, until the next time, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>